welcome to the 2015 NCHA World Finals. I'm here with the world champion and the finals average winner of the $35,000 non-pro, and that was Tessa Bunton, who rode smooth and mighty. Congratulations, Tessa. Thank you very much. So tell us about your two runs. You got a 218 and a 220. Describe uh, the first run. Um, the first run, I was really nervous, nervous to be here. I've never been in so many lights, and, you know, it was a cool situation. It's Fort Worth finals, you know. Um, it was a little nerve-wracking. Today was just fun. I was like, this is my last run of the year. I love this little horse. She's been good all year. I haven't shown anything but her. And um, so I think the two of us just kind of walked in there, and we were like, this is going to be good. It's going to be fun. <laughs> so do you feel like you, you, you dominated? Um, well... Uh, we, yeah, you could say that. It was, yeah, we just went out there and just did our thing. It was fun. So describe the whole year of um, chasing this title, what it's been like for you. Uh, well, I really, I just started showing in the 35 this year because it was a class that I could lope my husband's horses and then come show. And then when I looked at the standings in June, I was still leading it. And so he said, well, hey, you know, you're mayor six. Do you want to show age events this fall or do you want to haul for the world? And I said, well... I think I want to haul. It looks like fun, so let's do it. And I really was the only one um, just hauling in our barn. We had a couple more people come along and haul with us, but I just decided I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm on top. Why not? So this is the first year you hauled? Uh, this is my first year showing, really. <laughs> yeah. That's a fantastic result. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> wow, something's going right. Uh, the, you know, to, to put all that together um, and come out a world champion, yeah. how does it feel? Uh, it's in, it it it's I don't know if it still hit me or not yet. When I walked out of there, I just I was just like, wow, the year's over. Because yeah, I've been walking to the herd with pressure on me all year. Like oh, I'm gonna I want to try and win the world. I want to do this. I want to do this. And then today it was like I just walked to the herd and I was like, it's already done. It was I took a deep breath. <laughs> so you could enjoy it. Yes. Um, tell us about your horse. Um, she is a six-year-old little mare that is kind of special to us because she is one of the first horses that Monty trained and showed when we went out on our own. And I've loped her since she was two, and I've just I've loved her. And then he surprised me with her last year as a Christmas, birthday, everything gift, you know, <laughs> for a while. And um, he said, but she's only five, and she's only been shown in perfect situations, so she's not going to know what to do with you up there because I was learning how to show. And so I didn't show her much this last year and then this year he's like all right let's do this you know let's crack her out and show and she just from the very beginning till now I haven't shown any other horse all year and I've run her all over the place and she has never stopped trying her best for me I mean it's pretty unreal and stayed sound very sound I've hauled her all over <laughs> so um would you do it again what's what's on the cards for next year I would definitely haul again it was the overall experience you know it was early mornings crazy hours, long drives, but the people I've met and the places I've gotten to go and the situations I've been in, it's just, I would definitely do it again. And next year, I, I think I'd like to try some aged events. <laughs> Let's tone it down, a little less traveling. <laughs> so um, maybe next year we'll be interviewing you for winning the non-pro as your first year competing, just like you did this year? <laughs> maybe, that would be cool. <laughs> well, good luck with it all and thank you. Thank you very much.